Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Please stand and join us in singing the welcome song. Hit it, David. Three, four. We've come to celebrate. We want to make you feel at home. And so we welcome you to unity of all the free. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Unity of Walnut Creek. I'm Javier Cortez, and it is truly, truly my pleasure to welcome you to our service. Let's all take a moment to check our cell phones and be sure they are completely turned off. I already did mine, thanks. <laughs> Please join me in waving hello to our friends at home. Your presence adds to our spiritual community. We truly, truly appreciate you. We are blessed to have as our musicians today, Heart Dream. Yes. They will have CDs available on the patio after the service. Please join me in welcoming our special guest, Reverend Bill Engelhart. <laughs> Reverend Bill is about 25 years old and is... <laughs> I'm sorry. When you have the mic, you have all control. Re Reverend Bill. <laughs> Reverend Bill is an ordained minister who currently is serving as a senior minister at uh, Unity of Marin. Senior. Senior. <laughs> I'm sorry, Reverend, I started. <laughs> he is a powerful and memorable speaker with passion for sharing the practical application of unity teachings. His talk, Spiritual Rules of the Road, will be based on spiritual lessons and truths that are derived from humorous and insightful experiences with cars. He will be signing books in the bookstore after the services. So let's open our service by focusing our intention through our opening affirmation. Please join me in, in prayer prayerfully and powerfully speaking it together three times. There is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life the all-loving goodness of God. Once again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Let's continue by reading aloud the statement of our unity. God's love is within each of us guiding us to dynamically express our wholeness 
wisdom, and abundance. We acknowledge the universal wisdom in Christ's teachings and in all spiritual paths. I now choose to open to the presence of divine love and to be changed at death. Throughout this sacred time, God is uplifting me and through my heart, the world. Our heart minister, Mr. Jack Schaefer, will read from Unity's Daily Word. The word for today, all is well. All is well, what a powerful statement. When I affirm all is well, I am affirming that my life and the lives of those I love are in God's care. Filled with divine blessings, my trust is in God. By stating all is well, I open myself to a flow of divine energy and everlasting love that blesses me in unimaginable ways. Just as a faucet opens to a free flow of water when it is turned on, I am open to the free flow of peace, prosperity, love, and joy when I turn my heart to God. No need is too great for the power of God within me to resolve. As I affirm, all is well. I am assured that I am forever in God's care, experiencing unlimited good. From John 7, 38. Let the one who believes in me drink. As scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Our affirmation for today, all is well as I open my heart to the free-flowing love of God. Repeat that after me, please. All is well as I open my heart to the free-flowing love of God. Once more now, from your hearts. All is well as I open my heart to the free-flowing love of God. Please remain seated and join us in singing, Give Me Love.
highlight a few upcoming events. The details of these and other wonderful activities are in your bulletin and on our website. This coming Saturday, Reverend David will present his Advanced Heart Skills Workshop, Cut Through. Learn advanced techniques of personal transformation based on the research and wisdom of heart math. Now I have a special guest, Mr. Matthew Mezitz has something to say about the crab feed. Matthew? Uh, in two weeks, on Saturday 25th, our sixth annual crab feed is coming up at Center, of Con Center Concord. It's a lot of fun with dancing, raffle, and raffle ba baskets. We'll be serving delicious crab and other sides. You can get your tickets on the patio today and next Sunday. And there will also be tickets available in the bookstore during the week. Next Sunday is the very last day to get your tickets. No tickets will be sold at the door. See Leslie on the patio for more information and find out ways you can help. See you there. Hey, Linda, what's up with the en empty basket? Oh, I'm so glad to be <laughs> Well, it looks empty, doesn't it? Yeah. But actually, I have a friend. His name is Krabby. <laughs> and he's going to be at the crab feed. And we want you all to be there. But I don't want his empty baskets. So I need you to help me fill a lot of baskets for our raffle. So if you have an idea in your mind, go out and fill a basket and bring it to the church next Sunday or bring it to Center Concord early, like 2 o'clock, or let me know, talk to me on the, on the balcony, or not the balcony anymore. You know what I'm talking about, the patio. <laughs> anyway, I want you to think of fun things that you would like to bid on, okay? We've got A's tickets. We've got spa baskets. We've got a person who's donated her time doing a landscape a consultation with somebody, and she's going to do something about landscaping. We've got people doing massages and doing spa baskets and all kinds of stuff. And if you've got things that you would like to re-gift, but you don't want to truly re-gift them, okay, like you got something that didn't quite work for you, bring that next Sunday and we'll put a basket around that. So I hope you guys, par oh, Barbara, do we have chocolate. We have a champagne and chocolate. Up, sorry, Barbara doesn't drink. We're going to do a chocolate basket only. For Bar because Barbara Lynch asked for it. But we've also got a champagne and chocolate basket coming. So in addition, oh, <laughs> Danae says she'll take that one. <laughs> and you got, well, guys, we're going to have so much fun. There's already around 80 people already bought their tickets. Okay, That's unheard of for Unity. We always wait till the last week. And we also, sometimes we sell out on this stuff. So be sure and get your ticket today and see me afterwards about a basket. Thank you. Oh, did you? Oh, you look at her. If you don't like to shop, give me some money and I'll go shop for you. <laughs> I'm not even going to say a word. Huh? <laughs> if you're here, if you're here with us for the first time, we invite you to raise your hand so we can acknowledge you. Ah. Oh. We welcome you and those of you who have joined from home into our spiritual community. We truly appreciate your being with us. Are we still missing somebody? Okay. Keep your Please, please keep your hands up if there's any other first time. Let's we have some more. Yeah. As you keep your hand in the air, our ushers will be, be bringing you a gift of a shell lay. On that lay is an affirmation we share with each of you that says, just as God has a design for every shell of the sea, so God has a design for your life. We have a new blessing which you will see on the monitors. Please join me as we open our arms to send you a sincere blessing from our hearts as we affirm together. We love you, we bless you, and we behold the light of God shining through you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Now please take a moment to greet each other until the music begins.
to invite Reverend Bill to lead our meditation. We invite you to prepare for our time of prayer meditation, which we will begin through music.
to invite you to come forward and help me with something, if you'd be so kind. We're going to start this meditation. I'm going to ask everybody to stand up, and I'm going to ask you to find three different people, and this is what I'm going to like you, ask you to do, invite you to do, is just look in the other person's eyes for 10 seconds. because we are truly among angels. So I invite you, as you are able to stand, find someone and 10 seconds of silence. We are surely among angels, right here and right now. In this present moment, each of us got to look into the eyes of angels. We are God's hands and feet, eyes and ears. We are God's thoughts in action. We share love with connection. You saw angels. But remember, when they looked at you, you were their angel. I invite you to close your eyes as you're comfortable. Let's just take that wonderful feeling of angels among us, angels surrounding us, the angel in us. And as we get comfy in our seat, I invite us with the starting at the top of our head down to the tip of our toes that any anxiety trepidation, fear, pain that we may have had as we walked into this sanctuary. That it's all starting to drain away. Beginning with the top of our heads. We can feel it start to relax and drain an inch at a time through our forehead, our eyes, our mouths, down to our neck. We breathe Just be conscious of our breath. Our neck is now much more relaxed. The stress is dissipating. Our shoulders are now much looser than when we walked in. 
all the anxiety we carry in our shoulders. Let's just let our shoulders relax. Not worried about our posture, just let them relax. As all that anxiety energy continues down our arms, her chest is relaxing. Our heart, our heart, which is lighter now, our heart which has so much wisdom, is expressing it to us and through us through relaxation. It relaxes. Our chest relaxes. Even our fingers are tingling now and that they relax as well. Our stomach that carries so much anxiety and tension at times. It's relaxing now as well. It's putting aside all the negative thought forms and habit patterns that we may have been holding. It has a time to relax as well. The energy is now flowing down our legs, through our knees, down our calves, to the top of our feet. With our feet firmly planted on the ground, we feel the energy now draining through the bottoms of our feet like roots of a giant tree deep, deeply rooted and connecting us to the center of the earth. Where any and all of that anxiety or fear is traveled from our bodies, our bodies, 